Hello, my awesome and amazing Leos. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel for the day commencing for Monday, January 23rd of 2022. This is an audio uh, reading. I'm currently out of town right now. I'm actually in... Um, I'm in Memphis, Tennessee. I attended uh, Lisa Marie Presley's uh, funeral uh, memorial service uh, yesterday. So, um, <clears throat> so the hotel room I'm in is just the lighting is ap it's absolutely horrible, and um, it's just too much fluorescent lighting and not enough natural lighting in here. So today uh, it's going to be an audio reading. So I apologize about that, but I might be able to get through this reading a little faster. So general collective reading for you, Leos. So thank you so much for being a part of Blue Scorpion Tarot. And uh, if this is the first time uh, to the channel, welcome. And be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Okay. We're going to go ahead and dive into the energy, Leo, and see what is going on in and around your environment or what, what wants to come forward unto you. So <clears throat> here we go. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Leo viewers and my Leo subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Okay. And of course, like I always do, <clears throat> rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to. Let's see here. I have the power of number 10. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune card could show up in front of me. Um, preferably, I would like to see the Ten of Cups or the Ten of Pentacles kick in for you, Leos. Um, I do feel like a lot of you Leos are, you know, putting your nose to the grindstone right now pushing forward, trying to make 2023 the, a, a better year than what you had in 2022, okay? Some of you Leos could be dealing with another fixed sign. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Taurus, another Leo, or <clears throat> a Scorpio for some of you. Power of number five, the Hierophant may kick in. Something about faith, loyalty, commitment, dedication, devotion. Could be about spiritual awakenings. Maybe you feel like you're going through a spiritual awakening, Leo. Or who knows? Maybe you've been having some profound synchronicities. Maybe seeing signs, signs, synchronicities, things that are kind of like kind of like a magical energy that could be surrounding you right now or things that you kind of pick up and you're just kind of go, huh, that's interesting. You know, um, you could also be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. However, I am also picking up on the five of cups and the five of swords. It feels like there's some form of a battle going on right now, Leo, either with inside of you or outside of you. Okay. Power of number six. Okay. Lover's card may show up in front of me. Um, I'm, I'm picking up on the six of cups. You could also be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. However, if the lover's card shows up, you might also be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancer born in the month of June. Okay. Looks like we are going to the number 21, the 10, 5, 6, which 21 bring, would bring us to the world card. Okay. So endings to old karmic patterns and cycles. This could also be about online dating. This could also be about endings. Um, you know, maybe some of you Leos have recently lost loved ones in your family because the world card can talk about family, gene, you know, genealogy, DNA, uh, relatives, etc. Could be about friends. <clears throat> So if you have lost any loved ones recently, I send my condolences unto all of you. Um, a lot of you Leos are meant to be in the spotlight. Maybe some of you guys are celebrities. You never know. However, again, I hear from spirit, you know, go the distance. Maybe this is something about getting some extra courage or strength 
to make something happen or to turn something into a reality. Some of you are meant to be known globally around the world. You have a product, you have something that you promote or something that you do. You could offer a service. Something needs to get, what I'm seeing here is something neat. I see fireworks. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer born on July 4th. It's like exploding on the scene. Like here I am, you know, Leo rules over the fifth house. The fifth house is about career, success, changes. <clears throat> it's a different kind of change. It's more or less change sometimes in like the career, work life, etc. But it is, to me, Leo stands out. So like I said, some of you could already be in the public eye or you're focusing in on your personal success right now. Somebody just bought a new house or is planning on getting a house. I'm picking up the energy of uh, like a move, okay? <clears throat> we could see the, you never know, we could see the chariot card show up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Power of number 11 also going on in the numbers. You could also be dealing with our astrological, um, you could be dealing with the astrological next door neighbor or two houses down from you, Libra. Power of number two, you might be dealing with an Aquarius and or a Pisces born in the month of February. Picking up on Capricorn and Aquarius born in the month of January as well. We could see the Tower card, possibly the Devil card. There could be addictions, codependency going on, or maybe you're obsessing over somebody, Leo, or somebody's obsessing over you. The Fool card may also make its presence known. Power of number zero that I see out of the number ten. Something about taking a leap of faith or somebody's wanting to wipe the slate clean with you. I just heard from spirit something about unspoken words. Unspoken words, unfinished business. Hmm. Well, let's find out. Power of number 21, we're going to see what the overall message is. And then I'll be doing some clarifying, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, and 21. Okay. Trusted ancestors of my Leo viewers and my Leo subscribers, what is the overall general collective message for my Leos for the day commencing for Monday, January 23rd of 2023? Okay. The magician card came out. Something about focused intention here, uh, Leo. You are on the verge of either making a breakthrough in something for something in particular, or somebody is trying to manifest you back into their life or has been trying to manifest you, or you are manifesting somebody in particular with this general collective reading. We'll see. I'll be able to tell if this uh, reading is headed more towards career success money, or if it's going through the numbers, if it's headed more towards um, like romance. Okay. Um, something about communication. You could be waiting on more specifically for some of you Leo's communication from a Gemini or possibly Virgo or an Aries. Okay. Um, a lot of you Leo's like the color yellow or red. I'm also picking up on the color green and purple. Spirit saying, Leo, you have all of the tools and resources to manifest your desires into a reality, but maybe you feel like there's some form of a missing link, or maybe, you know, some of you could be also, be, you know, dealing with a little bit of procrastination too. And you know what? Procrastination hits up the best of us. It really, truly does. I know when I start to procrastinate. Mm-hmm. But somebody's, I feel like somebody <clears throat> has also got their eye on you. I heard from spirit, which way did the wizard? <laughs> 
Some of you could like the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, this is something about manifesting your destiny. This is where I'm feeling it, but we'll see what the next card comes out. Trusted ancestors of my Leo viewers and subscribers. What is this focused intention or communication, this magician energy, something about manifestation? It could be about manifesting for destiny. How is this magician card in regards to Leo? What's up with this? Mm. Okay, I see this energy in both directions. The card that came up is the seven of wands in the reverse. Something about either you're wanting somebody to let their guard down with you, Leo, or you're about ready to let your walls down with something or someone. Maybe you feel like you've been holding back or somebody's been holding back from you. However, I can also see this energy of the seven of wands in the upright. You could have blocked somebody or they blocked you. Could have been on a social media platform. Blocked phone calls, text messages, whatever. Um, I, but I am feeling it's something about letting your wall down or maybe cutting somebody a break or somebody needs to cut you a break. Hmm. Show me those seven of wands here. What's up with this? The fool card. Okay. Something about taking a leap of faith. I think this is about releasing some form of fear, Leo. To me, this is feeling like, because I don't have any cup energy, so far within three cards, I'm not seeing like this is right now pulling necessarily in the direction of the romance department. This is a plan that I'm seeing here. There's action that needs to be taken. This is something about destiny. And what you're supposed to be doing with your life, Leo. Letting your walls down, letting your guard down. But I know for the fixed signs, because I am one, I'm your sister Scorpio, that um, sometimes we, when we're, you're a fixed sign, yeah. I mean, sometimes it's very difficult for us to look past uh, certain energies or you just know like no I can't do that no I can't do this no 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 you know it's kind of like <sighs> I don't say let your intuition down like don't trust your intuition it could be more or less if you're trying to let your guard down with something or trying to find the courage or the strength and take this leap of faith then it could be about calling on the universe for more wisdom and discernment and more knowledge, maybe before making an affirmative choice or making a final judgment call on something. Okay. The fool is coming in in a positive way. It's not coming in in a negative way. If the fool is next to a positive card or positive energies, then the fool is taking the appropriate steps or the solid plan of action and say, okay, I'm going to dive into this because this is what I feel I meant to do. So what I'm picking up is that spirit has been pushing and tapping in on your inner calling, your inner soul to go out there and make something happen for your personal success. That's Toto in the background. She's coughing and hacking. She drinks her water far too fast. And her she's been highly anxious. I think she knows because we got a we got a long drive home. So let's see what this fool card. This is this is something about putting all of your faith, Leo, into what it is that you're doing. And not being afraid. Three of Wands. I have a lot of... Okay, I got a lot of wand activity. So that's like Aries, Leo, Sag. And of course, you guys are a Leo. If you take... Whatever this is that you've had your eye on, the end game, the end result, and there is a solid plan of action, okay? 
This could be about working with somebody like a like a business partner. Maybe you've been having some reservations about working uh, with a potential business partner. Maybe you've just been having some suspicions. You don't know if this is going to work. Maybe you feel that this business partner or potential business partner is a little wishy washy. Um, Something about, yeah, again, it's about discernment, but with the three of wands, um, once you execute your plans accordingly and you do it step by step by step, they're saying that the ships are going to come in, Leo. A lot of this has to do <clears throat> with your mindset. Are you, you know, are you blocking out the naysayers? Have you walked away from the people that don't, they don't necessarily have to financially support you, but a lot of times the kind of support that we're looking for is more emotional support and that there are people out there that actually believe in you. And maybe this is, maybe this has been a difficult challenge or a task for you to trust. You know, maybe you feel like somebody's not going to, see the same vision as you do, or, you know, maybe your mind is just too fixated on, well, this has to be this way and this way and this way. But I feel like somebody does want to work with you. Um, but I feel like there's also been this back and forth. There's been this back and forth energy with somebody that maybe you do want to work with, but you've had some reservations. Do I let my guard down? Do I do this? solo, you know, in order to manifest my dreams or whatever the case may be. But the they're saying the ships are going to come in. And for some of you guys, I've got different timelines um, where you may start to see some of your manifestations. Um, it could be the first of any month throughout the year of 2023. However, I do have Gemini energy. So once Gemini season kicks in, you might be just kind of taking your time right now and you might start to see things come more into full circle or full bloom during Gemini season. And Gemini season starts on May 21st, okay, of 2023. It's on that border cusp line of Taurus into Gemini season. Over the next seven weeks, this energy of the seven of wands being in the reverse, it feels to me that little by little, you're going to start letting, maybe this is you letting your wall down with yourself and getting into this full mode to start taking a leap of faith, turn your back on the naysayers, turn your back on the people that have never really been there for you. Because if they haven't been there for you now, what makes you think that they're going to be there for you in the future? Because a lot of you Leos are headed on the path towards success. And, and that's what I usually see sometimes also too with the three of wands. And that information is hitting me up more so um, looking at this three of wands. It's, it's more than just the ships coming in because wand activity in tarot is really... Um, it's fast movement, and this is something that you want things to happen fast. I do feel like a lot of you Leos get highly impatient, and I get it. I totally get it. Most fixed signs get highly impatient uh, when it comes to pursuing something, okay? <clears throat> but what I'm feeling here is whatever it is that you're working on, Leo, you don't look back. Don't look back to the past. If you feel like you made any mistakes, just say, okay, what do you, did you learn anything from those mistakes? Is there a different way that you could handle your communications or your business or the structuring of your business and, you know, where things were fell short or the things that grew? Can you weigh out the pros and the cons and take the pros and elevate it to a next phase of achievement? You know what I mean? So... And a lot of you, you guys, the, the ships will be coming in as far as I'm also picking up communication or somebody wants to take a leap of faith to either to work with you could happen over the next three weeks or when or for some of you, because the fool card um, usually represents carpe diem, seize the day. You might get a phone call today from somebody in particular. It could be an email, text message, whatever for some of you. Um, but over the next three weeks, you can start to see movement. Three of Wands brings in movement because it's, you know, the ships are coming in. 
And of course, little by little, either, either over the next seven days or the next seven weeks, you could be letting your guard down and you're going to be inching your way towards success. Okay. Planning accordingly, making strategic moves. A lot of you Leos had hit, um, hit back up the gym. You might need to keep going to the gym, you know, and going to the gym. Yes, of course, it's good for us. Right. But you might have to balance that out more with your work schedule, whatever's going on in and around you. It's going to keep your stress levels down because I feel like you Leos are headed towards massive success. Um, during 2023 and it's like I feel like you're going to end up having more highs than lows um, <clears throat> what I'm just picking up is that it's going to be more planned out planned out um, actions in order for you to get somewhere something that means that has significance to you something that has importance to you <clears throat> because a lot of you have been getting impatient uh, before in the past OK, <clears throat> so keep going the distance, Leo. Don't give up on yourself. Um, if you need to reach out to somebody in particular in regards to what it is that you're doing, if you have to send off resumes or um, fill out paperwork, whatever it is, there's something here about communication. Somebody may be taking a leap of faith with you or letting their wall or their guard down with you or vice versa. But something about the ships coming in in regards to forward movement and it feels to me that this has to do more with your work life your career your success maybe turning your back on a particular job it could be very well true that some of you leos are definitely headed into entrepreneurship or have been in entrepreneurship for a little while and it could be over the last maybe two to three years that things doesn't you know if it feels like it hasn't been paying off um it's going to start showing more of its presence or growth in 2023. And that's why I said, don't the magician takes action. The magician stays steadfast and true. So that kind of mindset, again, mental focus and, and rising above, as I always say to my, even my Scorpio viewers, rising above the noise the gab, the gossiping, the whispering, the people who don't have your back, the ones who have not been emotionally supportive of you, rise above the noise, okay? Leo, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, Leo, take care.